Hey y'all, it's Anime Kamen, and today I'm gonna be live reacting to Grand Bell episode 3. I'm gonna start this live reaction in 1 0 go! Alright. Let's see what this Edgelord's gonna say. Whoa! Did she murder people? Oh my. Oh my. Honestly, I gotta love Shingetsu's damn confidence, that was gnarly. And it's fun to see an orange-haired Strata kick her ass in the other world, didn't work. Strata kick her ass in real life, didn't fucking work. And the way she just reflexively just dodges that shit, holy shit. With those type of reflexes, she could probably fight in boxing or from the freaking MMA, you know, with the way she was able to like dodge that shit like in boss. So that was pretty nice. Now, I guess you're wondering why this live reaction was late. Um, just a lot of. Pretty much it's just me doing like some Saint Seiya live reactions. So I enjoyed that in the morning and the midnight. And then I tried to sleep, but it was like really hot, my AC's not working too well, I woke up multiple times and that's why I'm doing these live reactions pretty late right now. Just thought I'd give you all the info on that, but yeah, it just happens that way. So I'm assuming those chicks with the orange hair must be relatives of orange haired edgelord. And I'm assuming that mindfuck face, probably, there's a good chance we might see it this episode, might see the context behind that. Hmm. <laughs> She'll probably just erase her memory temporarily. Some of memory on that. Oh no, she didn't. I thought she was gonna take the Shingensu approach. But she didn't. I don't know if that means she's. Hmm. Oh, that makes sense. But by the way she's saying it, seems like it... Oh my. Huh. I guess that is quite understandable because even in marriages, when there's like divorces, usually one of the... One of the, um... People in a couple tries to take more than the other. So that makes sense. <laughs> you know, that does look pretty fucking good. That's like barbecue sauce. Oh, it's tonkatsu sauce. Oh, down to business. Aren't they scared that the other chicks can hear, though? Oh! Okay, I like that! Some anime sometimes don't even bother with those kind of explanations, so that's cool. Ooh. 
We all know, though, she, she ain't gonna give up. Best choice for Shingetsu would be for both of them to team up. At the very least, someone somewhat trust. Oh, she's smiling. Yeah. So she actually taught her how to use that. How to use magic, huh? Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh boy. Drama a lot. Oh ho ho. Ho. Oh my. Where'd that come from? That makes me wonder why is the daughter. Oh, that's sweet, though. Hmm. And you can tell it's probably gonna hurt and gets it and break Claire's heart. Eesh. Oh my. Oh, it's our edgelord. Our neighborhood edgelord. Also, it's ironic. I thought she gets it was going to be the edgelord, but it's orange shirt chick that ended up being an edgelord. Oh, she actually took the hit that time. <laughs> she looks like one though. I'm just saying. Wait, what? I guess it is anime. I mean, in Monogatari, Shinobu's like 500 years old and she looks like a 13 year old. So I guess it's anime. <laughs> Aww, that's hella cute. She has the face of challenge accepted when she's smiling like this. <laughs> oh. It's actually quite an interesting perspective. Aw, oh, she's hella enjoying this too. She's a cinder at heart, isn't she? Ah, oh, nene. We all. At least I think cinder are cool. I guess it makes sense if she can erase memories, then she could probably do this too. Hmm. So I wonder if this is gonna be like stimulation training then for Mongetsu? Kinda like a video game or something like that? Hmm. It's actually pretty cool. And that's actually cool that she mentioned that I have a good amount of time for the next full moon. And the reason why is because it'll be reasonable for when Mangetsu fights, she'll actually be even more powerful. You know, oh my. Aww. 
And it's reasonable, they've hung out enough time for Mangetsu to be able to say that, and she was saved by Shingetsu too. Huh. Oh shit, that's not a lot of time then for Mongetsu's training. Whew. But then again, I guess since it is the Amarox, it's more about, the Grand Ball is about moving it with um, the image in your head, then I guess it's 10 days, sh I guess should be a good amount to learn how to operate it, so. It does have go that going for it so that if Mongetsu does get really, really good at it, it won't necessarily feel like an asshole. Oh, so we got a pacifist here. Hmm. So I'm assuming white haired girl's motive is to try to become one of those, um, a mage to try to heal her sister then. At least that's what I'm gonna assume her motive is gonna actually be. This is actually pretty cool. Kinda gives it like a video game-like vibe. I kind of felt rushed that I would have liked to have actually have seen her train. I would have actually would have loved to see Mon get to train for like an episode, you know? Only get like 30 seconds at best. But I guess not much you can do when you have one court, but I still have to comment on that because it did make that portion of the episode feel rushed, though. Can't ignore that. Because I caught other enemies when they do that shit. And I like this show, but I gotta. Call like I can see it. Hmm. Oh my, so Nene can use that. <laughs> This should be fun. Because I wonder if she's going to recognize that Mongensu is the sister of one of her really, really nice friends, you know? It should lead to some, at least some emotional turmoil. You know, that's kind of good though, since the illusionary world, if it changes. Since if it changes, at the very least, we're going to have not only unique action set pieces, we're also going to have unique backgrounds to give flavor to each and every fight. She's just competitive as thick. Oh. Hmm. Oh, my. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Thought for a second she made a race to the, la the rise of mages, but then she only said the potential. The 
Damn! <laughs> Damn, she's got the ultimate hate boner. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. I guess it ain't gonna be as easy as the first time they fight against each other. God, man, those are some sick-ass animation cuts. <laughs> hmm. Oh. See. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, she's the oldest one? What the? Okay. <laughs> And I like the little face emoji too, it looks hella cute. It actually makes Nana into a more endearing character, those little bits. Oh. Okay. At least we at least we know what her motivation was at the very least. I should make at least most of the fights in this illusionary world at the very least have a bit more tension. To say the least. All right. All right, we're gonna see some swag time. All right, this is nice. And I like these explosion effects, look really fun, pretty damn good. Oh, oh yes, I like it. This is what we all came for. Oh my. At least that gives a reasonable explanation as to why she's actually struggling now. Oh. Can only hope that craziness actually has a lower guard. Oh my. We gotta hope Mongetsu can just. Nah, but she's going up against the tough opponents too, so.
I mean, at least she won't die, though, so... I can only see her being safe if you have Nene shoot something from far away. Oh! Who the hell is that? Oh, okay, string girl. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have a battle royale then. Okay, and I just did fa Oh, that was fabulous. What the? Okay, I guess she ain't no joke. As it should be, though, Sin. It, it makes it feel like they all have fair odds, every Armanox user, so that's good. From a story standpoint. I wonder though if it's gonna force Shingetsu to work with Orange Head Crazy Bitch though. Hmm. Huh. When was all the green though? Is someone gonna do like a spirit bomb like attack or? Or she can unleash some like uber overpowered laser cannon beam thing. Oh. Oh <laughs> fuck! Right when we're about to see what Nene was gonna do. I'm assuming though, at this point, this kind of implies her goals. So I'm assuming Nene's goal is gonna be to. Essentially revive her mother, String Girl's motive is to, I guess, lift the curse out of her, out of his sister. Shingetsu's goal is to erase mages from the world. Mongetsu just wants glory, so yeah, you know what, I will actually like this episode. We got most of the motivations revealed, and while it did a bit quicker than I would have actually liked, I would have actually really liked for this to have been a two-parter. Have just a singular episode focusing on the daily lives of the characters. Because, I mean, I guess he did get some of it from orange-haired chick. But I would have loved to see more on the white-haired chick a bit more. And a bit more on Nene, on how she lives life without her mother. In order for it to, ha have, to have more emotional punch. Don't get me wrong, this episode was still good. But I didn't have the emotional oomph because I felt like it went too quick. Naturally, the sequences with Shingetsu had emotional oomph because we've seen her a lot. We know enough about her to actually uh, give a shit. So, I gotta give it credit for that. But, there were times where the episode felt rushed. Oh, and Armanox reflects on Saw. Oh! Anyway. Field Sensation Roman Battle. Aww. Oh! <laughs> okay! Well, it's like, uh, what is the line between cowardice and recklessness? Damn! That, now that paper looks pretty fucking good, actually. I ain't gonna lie, it looks like we're gonna make a lot of plot progression in the next week's episode. So, Overall, though, I still thought from a story standpoint, this episode did pretty well, though. Just felt it was a bit too rushed. And I would have actually liked to see Mong get to train. I mean, she had 10 days. It would have been nice to see her actually go through the knit and gritty of training. So that when we see her accomplish something, it'll be like, damn, this is so badass. Because with her skipping this training, it's just going to feel like things were handed to her on a silver platter. And it's not going to feel earned because, yes, we know she trained. 
but we didn't fucking see it except for like a few seconds. So that was probably like the only thing I felt about this script. I feel like it should slow the fuck down a little bit. Just a teeny bit. But other than that, I did like everything else we got. At the very least, we got the stakes raised. We know the motivations for most of these characters. And in addition to that, we get Shingetsu and Mangetsu bond even over simple things like food. Like, that's really major because they're actually interacting like friends. And for the French and Engel to work, it's necessary to see them doing friendly things with each other. So that was nice. Gotta give it props to that. And... Also, the orange chair girl getting all angry against Shingetsu. It's really nice. It's good. It actually helped elevate the fight scene in this episode, and it made it much more gratifying. Even though episode one had much better visuals, I was it was a more satisfying fight here, because even though the visual fidelity wasn't as good, now we know why they didn't like, why orange chair chick doesn't like Shingetsu, so now I actually give a shit about the fight. So good job on that, too. And let this shut off. And taking all this into consideration, I'm gonna rate this episode a eight out of ten. I thought it was actually good. I'm eagerly anticipating more. And I thought, aside from that, I also thought the voice performances were pretty good too. We gotta give props for that. Our animation were nice. And yeah, cannot wait to see more, y'all. So, anyways, everyone, comment down your thoughts and leave us in the comments from below. Be sure to rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Because I definitely liked what I saw. Alright, thank you so much for watching everyone. Share the video if y'all want to and have a great and safe day. Bye bye.